How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be getting back into some ranked seasons. I'm looking to get right back to where I kind of started. I've lost uh, three out of the first four games I've played. So we are going up against John Smoltz, the uh, special edition diamond for this year's game. One of the seven special edition diamonds that also goes along with the first inning program. But uh, we're getting off to an interesting start. Very first pitch of the game is smacked out for a double and uh, actually ends up on third base because of the miscue out there in, on defense. Anyway, I was able to get two big strikeouts, uh, the following two batters. Now we have Eddie Matthews up, tried a backdoor cutter, and he smacked that one off the wall. I missed location there. I wanted that more on the outer half. Uh, probably not the best idea to go to that challenge pitch or that challenging pitch to throw. If you miss that location, it's going to be crushed. I'm lucky that that wasn't sent out, but here's Aldoberto Mondesi. I debuted this card in the previous video, but here is going to be his main debut. I started to get my timing down a little bit. That last swing was a terrible swing, but you can see that uh, Aldoberto Mondesi is a glitch. That card is absolutely crazy. I mean, a blue pit gets the inning going. We're able to get to second base. That activates Mike Trout and his clutch factors. He also has Rally Monkey, has first pitch hitter, all those types of things. Unfazed, uh, breaking ball quirk. We start to get something going here in this inning. After the two-run shot from Mike Trout, get the confidence down on him. Pablo Sanchez goes the other way with the double. Juan Soto follows that up with a single. That's going to allow one run to score. I'm not going to be greedy. I've already gotten thrown out plenty of times on the base pads recently and uh, throughout this year's game. So I want to try to just go base to base. In this situation, we rip another base hit up the middle. I'm going to try to advance and go first to third, score that run. But as you can see, I almost got backpicked trying to uh, get to third base and not send that runner to second. But those are just uh, things you have to work on with your buttons in base running. Also, uh, get something going here. We have an opportunity to drop down a bunt. We have first and second, nobody out after a base hit from Tatis. And everything's just going my way right here. We have a six-run lead. We scored six runs in this inning so far. Adalberto Mondesi's up at the plate once again. And uh, he was the one that started this inning off. But anyway, he goes with the sack fly. Felt like I got a good swing on that. Just maybe off the end of the bat. Good okay contact. We're able to advance the runners there with the sack fly. Go up 7-1. to one. This is uh, this is exactly what I needed. I mean, I needed to score a bunch of runs. I was able to do it in the previous game or one game previously in the other video. But for the most part, I was giving up a lot of home runs, giving up a lot of runs. So I need to be able to put up that run support for some of my pitchers as the opponent goes back to back, no doubt, shots against Kluber. I mean, this difficulty is on all-star and... Uh, that's because I lost a couple of these games initially. But I'm looking to get back to Hall of Fame. I'm looking to get back to the Division Series where I started. And I also didn't get the XP that goes along with that because I lost that first game. Even though I started at 700, I needed to win that first game in order to collect the Division Series pack. But I'm looking to get that in this specific video right here. I mean, I'm able to get a bunch of runs. He scored one more or scored a couple more. It's a 10-3 game. We're able to smack a three-run shot with Glaber Torres. I was swinging 3-0. Kind of interesting, but I've been able to hit this Hal Newhauser pretty well on All-Star. I'm curious to see how he's going to be on Hall of Fame. That 100-mile-per-hour fastball will be a, a significant difference on Hall of Fame rather than All-Star difficulty. I know that the PCI is pretty big right now. I'm just getting these seeing-eye singles, uh, getting these good weak base hits on pitches below the zone. I mean... Uh, once you give up a lot of runs, even though he's a starting pitcher, a legend, a 98 overall starting pitcher, he, even though he gives up runs, he's still going to lose confidence just like everybody else would. But we end up getting a double play there to end that game, and that boosts us back up. We're at 652 to start this one off. Now that gets us back to the 680-something range, and I'm looking to win this game to put me back into 700. That's the goal. I want to play at least one more game on Hall of Fame, try to redeem myself because I looked foolish. I mean, I was swinging at everything. I was swinging at pitches when they were already in the catcher's glove. And now I'm starting to get the timing back a little bit. That was an interesting home run. I, the PCI was not on the ball at all, but that's Adalberto Mondesi. He has a great swing. He's got that switch hitting ability. Uh, that's why I like him. I mean, he's going to be able to have some good contact from the left side, a little bit more pop from the right. But we give up the run right back. As soon as we score that run, we give that run right back up. And that's not what I'm looking to do. But 0-2 fastball, lower part of the zone, right over the plate. That's not what I'm trying to throw either. But it is what it is. That's what happened. I missed location. Uh, this game is pretty crazy with outfield defense. I will say that. I've seen some 
a lot of errors, a lot of weird plays going on. I've seen some of those things happen in the infield as well. But for the most part, the outfield defense is what sticks out to me. Here, Goldfielder misses that one. I didn't think he was going to miss it, so I didn't want to send Reggie Jackson home. But I might have been able to get in there safely. Anyway, we have a great opportunity here. And I popped up. That's a good pitch. I can't miss that. That's a slider over the plate. That's a good pitch to hit. And uh, only able to score one run rather than hit that out for a three-run shot. But I'll take it. I mean, sack fly. I need the runs. I need the insurance runs. Glaber Torres is picking us up with the long ball right here. A two-run shot to get those runs in, and that's big. I mean, a, a three-run lead in the bottom of the six. This is on all-star difficulty once again. As you can see, the PCI starts to get a little bit bigger as Nate Pearson is 82 pitches in. This is my first time facing this Nate Pearson. I struggled against him early on. I mean, I was going to struggle really against anybody that throws hard, though. My timing is still pretty poor. I was, I was late, but... Uh, for the most part, I started to put some good swings on the baseball, start to score more runs consistently, and that's what I'm looking to do, try and get that batting average up, try and get the on-base percentage up, get people on base to capitalize on these big on these big innings, take advantage of the bullpen, try and wear down on some of these pitchers, just different things that you're looking to do in baseball, and if your timing's not there, if your precise PCI placement is not there, especially in this game, that's going to be very challenging to do so here he has another misplay in the outfield just unfortunate for the opponent it's really tough to use lower tier fielders out in the outfield i mean i'm having a tough time with juan soto and reggie jackson out there and christian yelich has worse fielding than both of them i'm pretty sure so i couldn't imagine using those guys anyway um some of these diamond fielders are definitely going to be valuable as the game releases these uh these legends and and diamond fielders the prestigible cards that will get diamond feeling. That's going to be pretty important towards the end. But I started to become a little bit more precise with uh, certain locations. I mean, I was not able to uh, compensate for the inside pitch. So you can see that I'm kind of sitting on the inside corner. But normally, if I'm doing that, I'm able to kind of react and hit pitches in the other spots of the zone. At this point, I'm just, uh, I'm still missing. I'm, I'm trying to get as many of those uh, reaction hits as possible to where I'm moving the PCI being precise with it and uh, getting base hits that way and sitting on one spot. So I'm trying to work on my approach. I'm trying to work on some of the things that I'm doing just, just so that way I can continue to uh, play this game competitively or at least try and make, you know, make good gameplay, try to get something going at the plate, try and get in the rhythm at the plate, get the timing down a little bit more. But we are able to uh, make it into the division series. Won that last game, 11-3. So we do get the pack here. It's good for the XP for the most part. I'm not really expecting the best rewards out of these types of packs. I thought that this might have been a diamond player at first. But it's just a diamond bat skin. It kind of confused me. It kind of fooled me there. But I mainly wanted to reach this uh, division series to get the XP and also to continue to play on Hall of Fame. Now I thought about hopping into some event gameplay on Hall of Fame to try and practice a little bit. Try and get the timing down. I decided to just uh, not do that. I decided to play ranked, and now we're going up against Hal Newhauser. So this is going to be a good test. 98 overall pitcher throwing 100 miles an hour. This is going to be a good test to see kind of where I'm at with uh, my approach at the plate, with my consistency. And this guy gets something going here. Top of the second inning, back-to-back -back hits to start this inning off, and that's going to be a run. Look at these animations. Look how long it takes Juan Soto to throw this ball in. I got a good throw from Tatis, but he had no chance because... Uh, Soto's taking a crow hop. He's doing all kinds of stuff out there, but it wouldn't have really mattered. He's able to score another run. He probably would have scored another run in that previous inning anyway, but he takes a two-run lead on a pitch. I threw a fastball, tried to get it inside, threw it over the plate, but I'm looking to get those runs right back. Tati squares a fastball up low in the zone. That's going to be extra basis. So we got the bottom half of the lineup coming up. I tried to bunt with Corey Kluber. That resulted in a non-productive out. But Mondesi is going deep once again. A no-doubter from the right side this time. This card can really play. I mean, he has a glitchy swing. I'm using his swing on my creative player. So it's almost like I have two Mondesis in the lineup. Uh, batting leadoff and in the cleanup spot. So that's good. We get a uh, line out following batter with Mike Trout. I wait on that sweeping curve. Finally, I mean, I was having a tough time uh, hitting the fastball at 100. Waiting on the sweeping curve and the changeup coming in. At like 79, 80, it's a big time speed differential and timing window, especially uh, just trying to get the timing back and trying to 
uh, learn those timing windows again. Anyway, line out to the warning track a couple times. I felt like I had some good swings. Didn't get the PCI perfect on the baseball. But then I'll get rewarded on something like this. Mondesi's just putting the team on his back. This card's really good. I, was, I should have probably chosen him first. That Charlie Morton card is pretty good, but I would have probably had more of an impact with uh, with Mondesi. I feel like he would have been able to create more runs for me. He would have been really good to have in the leadoff spot right away. But it doesn't matter. I have him now, so that's what's that's what's helpful. And uh, I'll have him on the team for a little bit until I'm able to get Sandberg or someone else. But here in the ninth. I went to some defensive replacements. I brought in Joey Gallo. I thought about bringing in Matt Olson. I didn't, and he cost me. Uh, Josh Bell cost me there. Then I went to bring in Matt Olson afterward, but it was pretty much too late. Luckily, we got out of the inning. We win the game. Corey Kluber pitched a complete game. But shut that guy down. Pretty good. I mean, that was a pretty good pitcher's duel. 3-2 to two ball game. Hopefully, you enjoyed that video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. I'll try and continue on with my Hall of Fame gameplay. Peace out.